Welcome to First at Four, I'm Grant Sweeter. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. The death toll from COVID-19 increased again in South Dakota Thursday, according to the latest update from the State Department of Health. Total deaths are now at 17. There was two male deaths and two female deaths reported. One death was a woman aged 40 to 49, one man 70 to 79, and one man and one woman older than age 80. All the deaths are reported in Minnehaha County. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem held a press conference on Thursday. She says she anticipates activities in the next couple of days at the Smithfield Foods plant. Noem says she spoke with U.S. Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue and Smithfield Management on Thursday about reopening the plant in Sioux Falls, which has been closed due to an outbreak of COVID-19 cases. As of Thursday, the State Department of Health was reporting 853 cases in Smithfield employees and 245 cases in their close contacts. The mayor of Sioux Falls is following Governor Kristi Noem's lead in reopening. Ten Aiken is opening parks, athletic fields, and says Sioux Falls and Harrisburg school districts will be reopening their playground facilities. He continued by saying restaurants and bars can expand to 10 patrons or 50% occupancy. Therefore, the mayor says seating areas must be in six feet chunks. May 8th is the earliest this ordinance could go into place. The One Zoo Falls Fund announced a new milestone on Thursday. The fund has helped more than 2,200 families and individuals who remain housed during the COVID-19 pandemic. The One Zoo Falls Fund was established on March 17th to help residents in the Sioux Falls area, including Minnehaha, Lincoln, McCook, and Turner Counties. With the help of the fund, residents have been able to avoid evictions if they are unable to work due to COVID-19. Find out more information on the One Zoo Falls Fund in this story online right now. From the Kelloland Capital News Bureau in Pierre, the Cheyenne River Indian Reservation in western South Dakota reportedly has its first case of the coronavirus. The case wasn't reflected in the State Department of Health statistics that were released at midday Thursday. Data is updated daily and lists county of residence for each infected person. You can find the full report from Capital News Bureau reporter Bob Mercer online right now. Starmark Cabinetry has reopened after a two-week closure following a handful of confirmed COVID-19 cases at the facility. Kelland News talked to a spokesperson with Master Brand Cabinets, the parent company of Starmark. The company made a lot of changes, especially in the Sioux Falls Division, to help prevent any continued spread. As the Sioux Falls Division opens again, the company is continuing to keep their focus on their employees. The full statements can be found in this story online right now. Scroll down in the first and four story for a look at today's forecast from the Kelland Live Doppler HD Storm Center. That's first and four on this Thursday afternoon. I'm Grant Sweeter. For the latest updates, download the Kelland News app.